Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through division algorithm for floating point guys. Guys, this is also really easy guys. But in all these floating points, we will be using the main flowcharts of uh, the integers guys. So please try to practice them first and then come here. If you have no idea on the normal division algorithm, please go back to go back to the previous tutorials in this video lecture series only. We will be finding them. Okay. So basically the first step that you will be doing is checking for zeros as if in the previous steps. And you will be evaluating, evaluating the signs and assigning the registers for particular tasks. And you will also align the dividends if there are any unwanted zeros. You will be shifting it to right or left and you will be doing some operations on them. And we will be subtracting the exponents guys. Remember in multiplication we will be adding the exponents. In division we will be subtracting the exponents. Then divide the mantisas. So that will be our task guys. So now let us go through the algorithm. It's really simple guys. So here we are not drawing the main diagram of the division. So that's the reason why it looks really small. You may think that this is really simple than the previous lectures. But we'll, we need to draw that whole thing inside this guys. Okay. So division in BR. Divisor is BR and dividend is AC. So if any one of them is 0. Is there any necessary to do the code guys. Do the program or do anything. So if a BR is 0. Remember. Something by 0 is, sorry, any, any 0 by something is possible, but uh, something by 0 is not possible. So if BR is equal to 0, we will be showing that divide by 0. It is an error or exception, guys. In some languages, they call it as error and in some languages, they call it as exception. Fine. So if AC equal to 0, we will be making QR. That is nothing but coefficient to 0 and we will be ending the program right there. Fine. Okay. So if both of them are not equal to 0, then we will be entering into the program. So this situation you will be finding in each and every algorithm of this floating point guys. So now I hope everyone got a small idea guys. Okay. So basically let us go through the flowchart really clear. So you will be, as we know that it depends particularly on signs also. So we will be considering the signs of A and B. And we will be performing an XOR operation that is nothing but if both are same, we will be denoting it with 0. And if both are different, we will be passing a 1. Right? Okay, so now I hope everyone got a small idea on that. And we will be also making that Q to 0. Fine. We successfully made it. And we will be decrementing the SC value 1 by 1. SC value will be initialized by the number of bits, guys. Fine? Okay. So once it is done, we will be doing the subtraction operation using 2's complement. And according to the value of E, if E equal to 0, that is nothing but we, that is nothing but A is less than B. So we will be doing an addition operation. If in the other case, we will be doing addition operation and we will be shifting it and we will be incrementing the value of A. Fine. So now we will be taking the A value, we will be updating it with using A minus B. A minus B, fine. So now we will be following the bias rule and we will be making a a value to be stored in Q and then we will be drawing the same flowchart from the previous tutorial guys. So that's how we complete the division division for floating numbers guys. So if you want this, these are the two things guys. So the same previous points, these are the five points which you should remember. So now I hope everyone got a 100% clear idea, crystal clear idea on this chapter. Guys, we have just completed our complete CO lecture series guys. So in this lecture series, we have covered all the five chapters, guys. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through some important topics of this chapter. Thank you. Thanks for watching.